I gave five streamers the ultimate creative contest. They are issued challenges that can be completed using any video game in existence. They are then awarded so points stacked. based on how most well they complete each challenge. And in the end, the one with the most points will be crowned as the coveted Gamer D. Welcome okay, to Challenge well, Gamer, and this is today's enabled. challenge. Physics enabled objects. Sad. First of all, do you know the definition? I think I'd have to do my research to make sure I know what you're talking so about here. gravity and other physics enabled objects bumping against it will affect it. So if you let go of it, does it drop? then it's probably a physics-enabled object. Our challenge today for our guests is going to be to stack as many of these physics-enabled objects on top of each other as possible. Anyone who thinks they won. Me. Yeah, me. <laughs> Confidence, okay. Oh, I'm very, I'm incredibly confident, yeah. I, it's a game that borderline you may want to ban. <laughs> <laughs> it's a Minecraft again. game I used, I'm going to lose my mind. Oh yeah, well no, we're best friends at that point. Really hope you take the best attempt and oh, not, you know, everything after. <laughs> uh, <laughs> yeah. it, it, is, it is physics enabled objects, so I kind of have yeah. to take it at the end. It kind of has to stay standing. Well, let's take a look at how it went here. We kind of floundered with Witchet on the first one. Go back to our roots. This is our move here. This will be what we stack everything on. I do believe this is physics enabled. We'll jump. Oh wait, it disappears when I use this. Widget, you failed us again, massively. Let's see, I was thinking maybe human fall flat. Can you stack stuff? You need to find like, two boxes and just like stack them on top of each other. One object, two objects. Okay, we'll, we'll put them in the corner. That's two stacks. I feel that. Someone's probably got some big nerd game out now, Physics Simulator 2017. Actually, I do have the perfect game for this. Super Liminal. It's a really tough puzzle game. And the best part about it is, is that you learn to stack things on top of each other. Significant memory loss, oh, both here we quantitative go. and qualitative. Yes. Okay. Okay, this might be harder than I thought. This is gonna be a little bit hard, okay? You can stack paint cans. So I'm thinking maybe if I can just stack a bunch of spray cans and hope for the best. Am I gonna do well? I don't know. So you see all these paint cans here, everybody. That's right. Ah, oh, shoot. Okay, this is gonna be... Ah, oh, shoot. Ah, oh, heck. Oh, no! No! Okay, this is not winnable. I'm gonna go out in style. And we're gonna boot up Super Auto Pets. <laughs> Perfect stack. Another stack, that's two. Physics enabled is gonna be what we have to get around. <laughs> God, I need to call up my lawyer friend. We're really thinking about it. These are all little cutouts, like 2D little cutouts of animals. It's just like paper, right? You can't tell whether it's stacked. It's just like looking straight down on it. Hopefully my peers would be fine with this explanation. Other than that, this is just an excuse to play one of my favorite games. And that's okay sometimes. When you're playing a game, you just gotta, you gotta have some fun. It's not all about getting those victory royales. It's not all about getting those dubs. Oh my God, never mind. Fuck them, we win. <laughs> I should probably start with a bigger base. Oh my God, it, it gets harder because you think that you have it and then you don't realize how big they are. Corner, okay. I'm spray tape. Oh my God. Actually, you know what? Throw the cans. Okay, nice, nice, nice. Okay, so we're gonna start with twos now. Oh, oh dear. I'm afraid. Ah! No, no! Okay, 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 we can survive. We can, re we can rebuild it. Right here. Oh my god. Okay, I think we're onto something. Never mind. Look, you can make these super tiny. Ah. Uh -huh. This is either gonna count or it's not gonna count to some like judgment call, but I think it counts. Yeah, I should have just made them all small from the get go. <gasps> what? Oh, what happened? <gasps> what is happening? Where are they coming from? Oh, no, no, no. Oh my God. Oh, I'm insane. <gasps> And that is time. No! <laughs> the greed, I was really greedy. I got really greedy. <laughs> All right. And that is the attempts for three of our contestants. Do we want to talk about that? Such scene? <laughs> I uh, I did it again, you know, it showed in Monster Hunter, it showed here, uh, I got a little bit, I'm a, okay, so for backstory, I'm a little bit of a greedy gamer sometimes, like, <laughs> in terms of, like, trying to get extra loot at the cost of my life, or, you know, limit I, testing, I, I limit test a lot. See, I don't know? even know if that's considered greed, because, like, you went for, like, an order of magnitude lower than a lot of other people here. People are going for, like, tens of, of objects stacked, maybe, maybe close to a hundred, and you're getting close to, like, 
Six? I couldn't think of like a game where there was like a lot of objects that could be stacked, but I was like, oh, wait a second. I play with those spray cans in Phasmophobia this whole time. Like, this is where this really comes in. Like, I'm gonna stack these paint cans. Like, there's no way people are gonna beat six paint cans stacked on top of each other. The clock, as soon as I saw the alarm clocks, I was like, oh, you know, that's a... That's a bit of an L for me. <laughs> to be fair, you still probably did better than someone who didn't use a physics-enabled game. Oh. Hey, you don't <laughs> What do you mean? <laughs> uh, like, where, where, where's your lawyer friend? I'm here. I, I, between the recording session and now, I took the bar. I'm ready to go. Hit me up. What's your... Well, like, you know, I think uh, the question is how does your challenge meet up to the challenge criteria? You ever put a piece of paper down? Just kind of sits there, right? My life has changed. I was thinking about that. That's I know, just paper down. Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> just paper on the ground. Whoa. Yeah, you can't really tell if it's stacked or not. Like, if there's another piece of paper on it. Unless you have, like, 20 pieces pieces of paper, which I don't think I had that, did I? Mm. Oh, well, even if you have 20 pieces, like looking straight down on it, like you couldn't tell the difference, you know? I don't know if anything that has snapping can be considered physics enabled, you know? I respectfully disagree. If you can take one of those pieces of paper and put it somewhere mm -hmm. else that is not part of the game board, I might agree. Well, I could. I was just so locked in and I was so oh. good at what I was doing that they all just kind of stacked perfectly on top of each other. Oh, it's, it's your you're super skilled. He's cracked. Um, yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. 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 Mm -hmm. Understandable. Sad. What do you think of that explanation? It's not friends. Sad. Look, I, I understand. Um, it's it's a good case. I'm just not seeing the physics. I but I enabled it. <laughs> you are the physics. <laughs> I guess finally, let's talk to Twin here. So you went for the perfect game. Oh yeah. Uh, well, I feel like Arctic probably has a better game than I do. But, I mean, that was the best that I could think of at the moment. I think I did all right. I think I got, like, maybe a second. You chose one with a lot of perspective issues to deal I with. I feel like that, like, helped me and also, like, was my enemy at the same time. Because I had to figure out how the sizing worked. But once I got it, it made sense. And then T. Yeah. Yeah. Human fall flat? It's a game, all right. And it's physics based, at least. Uh -huh. I think you stacked less objects in that game than Citrus Scene. <laughs> but they're big, they're big blocks, though. That was a, that was a big log. That is true. That big that boulder. True. Yeah. I'm not counting the size of the stuff you're stacking, I'm counting the amount. <laughs> Wait, what? Of... Let's I, I, take a look I, I, I at our <laughs> final challenge video here featuring our Gmod boys. Gary's mod now. Let's launch this. Okay, it's kind of working. Wait, can do it this way? <gasps> Go in the box. Why we got fences? Oh, <gasps> perfect. <gasps> oh my lord, we've done it. There's so many stacks in there. Wow, the, the game is lagging <laughs> a lot. There are drawers everywhere, but there is a stack in here of some kinds. In a heartbeat, Gary's mod. Oh no, they're kind of not stacking. Okay, bigger boxes. Oh no, no clip altogether. That's it, okay. 13, 14. No! One, two, three, four, five, six, one, forty two, forty three, forty four, five. My poor CPU is like, what the hell are you doing? <laughs> I'm playing Gowie's mind. Maybe get a smaller object, because, like, that was sack better, yeah? Oh, um, It's not looking great. Uh, we have two FPS. I don't know how to count that. And that's up to you to count. You can use your wizard magic. The average size of a drawer uh, with the average height of a wooden box wheel. Based on my character height, uh, make sure to carry the one and use Pythagoras' theorem with Pluto's law of relativity, E equals MC square, and you'll, you'll find your answer. All right, so Gmod, <laughs> let's talk Ark. How do you think you did? I trudged up my roots pie. Half-Life 2 is a game I was really into as a kid, and I actually played Gary's mod before, like it was actually like on the, sto on the Steam store. I know the console to that game engine, like the back of my hand. I just knew immediately when it was physics enabled. I mean, Gary's mod is physics the game. So I feel like I did well. I feel like I did pretty well. Fair enough. And then T. I'm the complete opposite. I've never played Garry's in my life. I bought Orange Box back in 2006, and that was the first time launching it. I went really well, as you can see. I blew up my CPU nearly. But you said a stacking amount. See, so I have a chance here, maybe. Well, with that said, let's take a look at the results, shall we? So first, we have Citrusine. Um, yeah. 
And any anything to say to that? I'm gonna be honest here. I really was like, oh my god, phasmophobia paint cans. Like, I'm definitely thinking outside the box. And then I'm watching everyone. I was like, oh crap. You know, they were like in a whole ass castle, and I was in a leftover Amazon box about the trash can. Like, <laughs> like that. I just, I was like, I was mind blown. I was like, wow, I really, uh, really need to step it up a little. But you know, at least that four tower didn't fall over, guys. Am I right? It's better than zero. Um. That's, that's not bad. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right. Next. Let's take a look at uh, Eiji Toma. Add a little question mark there, because sad. Yeah. <laughs> we have six items there? Are we sure? It leveled up to level three, so technically it would it would be six. Now, the question is whether it's six or zero. I see at least one. Is it even one? Because is it physics enabled? I don't think so. Fair enough, fair Me, enough. You know, he did have fun, and that's what counts. Very fair. <laughs> Next, let's take a look at Twin. Now, I went ahead and took several screenshots from Good all luck. of yours, <laughs> and I had to go and count each of them one by one. I oh basically God. counted based on one of them from the ground, and anything that's leaning on it using physics, I would count that as part of the stack. So we count everything here, all the yellow dots, we would have a total of 31 items, which Thank is... Thank you for doing that for me. Glad you counted. Part of the job. <laughs> yeah. Glad that was you counted not me, oh my it. goodness. All right, and then we have T. Yep. I, I'm not doing the math. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, like 20 guys. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm just not. But like, like, his CPU exploded. That means he had so many things see, all at once. Here's the thing, right? here's the thing. He chose a tub with no bottom. So technically, all those items are not even resting on the tub. It's just a wheel. With stuff stacked inside of it. Oh. Like, yeah, but we'll have to find one base of it and then count our way up. Like, if you it was game? a closed tub. <laughs> oh, no. Pull it up. <laughs> hey, 20, pretty close to the amount of FPS you had at the end there. So, yeah, yeah. like, I, I think it's about fair. And finally, we have Ark. I went through and did my due diligence oh. and counted <laughs> each wow. of them. Uh, wow. You have a total of 84 items. That's a lot. Wow. Uh, that's a lot. Yeah, I, I, I can't think of another game that would let you do something so stupid. <laughs> <laughs> and, and for the record, my CPU, I think I was getting around 214 frames when I started. Every time I would put a new one down, it would drop to one. So yeah, I know exactly what you mean. <laughs> yeah, it's just, just Gmod things. All right, so with that said, our final score for the last round is going to be Ark in first place with 84, Twin in second place with 31, T with around 30, Citrusine with 4, and Adri with the did not finish, unfortunately. With that, another season of Challenge the Gamer is now complete, and the final scores were incredibly close. But there can only be one winner, and it looks like Twin is our Gamer D of the season. A huge shout out to all our guests and co-hosts for joining me. Make sure you guys go follow them if you guys haven't already. And of course, a big thank you to all of you guys for supporting and watching the series. The next season has already been filmed and another one is on their way after that. So if you don't want to miss it live, make sure you guys follow my Twitch right here. I also run other cool shows and challenges on there. Thank you all. And when it's released, click here to be taken to the next season.